Hey guys, I wanted to check out an application today called NILS Lock Screen Notifications and pretty obviously it's going to allow you to get notifications on your lock screen but it works really well and I've been using it over the weekend and I've been really impressed with it. In terms of the application itself, it's available in the Play Store. I'm using the free version of this, you can see it right here. Of course the links are included in the description. This is the main application but I also use the add-on which is right here, the NILS floating panel and I do suggest you get this as well because it just adds to the awesomeness of of this application and really does make a difference. So I'm using the free version of both of these, so yeah, let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so once you've installed it, you can just add it to your lock screen like any other lock screen widget. We'll hit the plus here, scroll down to NILS. There we go, just tap that. And the thing I love about this is it looks pretty much identical to the normal Android lock screen, which I really like, it's nice and clean, but essentially you're just gonna have your notifications in this area. So let's go ahead and test this out. Okay, so I'm gonna force a notification by taking a screenshot. I should mention, however, you don't have to have every application appear on your lock screen notifications. You can pick and choose exactly which ones do appear. And there you go, you can see the uh, notification right there. Now you can actually edit the area that this appears in. You can. Uh, have this all the way down to the bottom you can shrink the width that's completely up to you that is the floating panel part of it by the way I should mention you can actually tap the screenshot to see more information of course if you had a longer message like a whatsapp or a gmail this would be populated with the gmail message of course it's just a screenshot so it doesn't really show me much you can swipe left or right to dismiss the individual notification or you can swipe down to dismiss every single application application every single notification you have right there so if you actually want to do something with the notification you can tap and hold the icon and it will give you some options if you swipe right for this one it gives me the share option or I can open it up in the gallery and which options you get here are completely dependent on which application it is so if it's a Gmail you'll probably get things like archive and stuff like that and you just have to release it to activate. So release and it's gonna give me the share menu. So you can do some really awesome stuff directly from your lock screen. Okay, so just for funsies, I thought I'd send myself a Gmail to see what that looks like when it comes through live. So we'll just hit the send button here and we'll wait for that to come through. Hopefully it won't take too long. Okay, and there we go, it's come through here. Now I can tap this, you can see the subject and who it's from right there, but you can tap it. You can read the rest of the message if you want to, and then you can decide what you wanna do with it. So you can hold the icon here, you can reply, you can archive, or you just can open Gmail. So that's completely up to you. It gives you those options right there. So if you hit archive, boom, it's gone, and it unlocks your device as well. Of course, if you just swipe the notification away, then it wouldn't have unlocked your device. Okay, so I just wanted to briefly go through some of the settings here. We've got services online, the widget is present, and the floating panel is active. And don't forget, if you remember at the beginning of the video, this is something I had to download additionally. If we turn that off and just see what it's like without that, we'll uh, get a we'll force a notification here and we'll lock the device to see what happens. And you'll definitely see the difference. So you still get your notification on the lock screen, but you can't tap it or just unlock straight into the, uh, the gallery for this one. You can't swipe to do anything with it. You can't expand it or anything like that. So that's the, well, that's actually what the floating panel allows you to do. So it's uh, it's it's a pretty big deal. So if we check out some of the other settings here, we'll dive into service. You can allow auto wake up. So essentially when you get a notification, your screen will light up. You can disable the proximity sensor to save you some battery life, delayed wake up and timeout in seconds. You can clear when unlocked. All your notifications will obviously clear when your device is unlocked sort notifications by time and you've got a few advanced settings here as well the widget settings you've got a few options here for example you can change the way the clock looks uh, large medium and small you can change the color the date color you can have it clickable bold hours and all that sort of stuff here a few different things here like compact normal and large mode i'm not sure if that actually changes because we're using the floating panel and if we dive into the floating panel settings, this is where you can actually do quite a lot of customization. Now, don't forget I am using the free version. So some things are locked, for example, the background color and icon background color. So if you want the full customizable options, you will have to pay a little bit of money, but you can change the primary text color, the secondary text color. You can change the uh, font size here. You can give you, it gives you a little preview at the top to see exactly what you're doing and the secondary font size as well. So there you have it, guys. I'm absolutely loving the lock screen notifications. I think they're really elegant. They work really well and you can do a lot of things just directly from the lock screen using this floating panel so yeah i hope you enjoyed it guys peace out